What's up, everybody? Nikki T back today. As you can see, we have the Marvel's Avengers. Uh, wait, Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase One Avengers assembled. With we got ten discs, six movie collection, all the extra stuff, um, and a little exclusive look at Iron Man Three. Ooh, man, those people are gonna be very, very disappointed. Anywho. As we see, we got the Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 1 Avengers Assembled again. All the extra stuff, the different logos, what's actually inside this, the different movies. Um, same thing on this side. Uh, nothing on the bottom. Alright, and then this is the back. And then of course the back shows everything that's going to be on here. You can pause the video whenever you want to kind of read, if you really want to read. This is pretty much what's going to be in this review. So if you're satisfied with that, then I guess you can click out. But if you actually want to see the rest of the video, stay tuned. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this bad boy up and look at that. It's already ripped up here. And we have Try Me. Okay, let's do this. All right, here it is out of the package. As you can see, it is the case from the film. Um, it's it's plastic. It's not real metal or anything like that. It's pretty cool design here. You got the shield design in the middle um, on the side. Nothing, just, you know, fake bolts. You know, it's pretty much, of course... Not a real suitcase. If you want to make sure nothing breaks, I'd recommend not using this suitcase for anything besides just sitting there on your shelf like you normally would do anyways. All right, so on the top here, we have a little button. And what the button does, it actually makes the little cube in the middle glow. Look at that. You can see it's glowing. And I actually have the lights on right now. Like, you can still see that. So that's pretty pretty intense light right there. Not too, not too shabby. All right, let's open this bad boy up here. I'm going to place the camera on. It's, I got a little tiny tripod here, so I'm gonna try to show my best without the camera falling off the uh, table here. So as you open up, as you can see, the lights are on. Everything's looking nice. See the lights there, and it's all already all packaged up for you with a bunch of different stuff. Here's the cube from the film. I don't think it does anything besides just be a cube from the film. So I guess I can go to the side. But as you can see, there's actually lights inside there. Little things. There's nothing, nothing too good, you know. This, this, all this extra stuff. This is, of course, is all not real stuff. It's just all plastic, kind of gimmicky to make you think that, to make you feel almost like you would be actually in the Marvel's universe. So I'm gonna pull out all this stuff out. We kind of see the case. We see everything about it. It's pretty cool, interesting. It's got lots of lights. Pull out everything that's inside of this right now, and then I'm going to move the case over to the side. Oh shit! I pulled the thing off. I mean, crap, I pulled the thing off. Yeah. All right. Well, let me move all this bulk of plastic aside, and we'll be right back to the review then. All right, so right now we'll start with the whole packaging that actually comes with the actual uh, thing that isn't the important stuff. This is all the extra gimmicky stuff for the fans. All right, so we're going to open up this letter. It's confidential. It's got a shield label on it. Um, open immediately. Well, we better do what it says, or you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. So we'll open it up. Oh, crap. I wanted to kind of keep this in contact. Damn it! Oh well, fuck it. I mean, screw it. Man, I gotta bleep myself a billion times on this thing now. All right, let's see, let's see. Let's get it out of the way. Come on. All right. Um, stills, stills of what's in here? Can we see it? Oh, it's a uh, Tatari, and then there's people. On this walking upstairs. That's that, that is that what in there? Oh, there's someone else in here. All right, we got field agent code. Keep secure at all times. Must surrender upon request. Property of shield. What the heck is this? Does this get me something? U. Dot net to receive debriefing okay so all together it's like it's like a code or something I have to go to something.net to receive a briefing I don't understand this stuff maybe you guys do um, have fun with that code I guess because I do not need it <laughs> if if it does get anything have fun with it I don't care <laughs> all right now let's open up this this shield uh, folder here we got security level seven. Oh my lord that's more than six this must be pretty pretty Defecate, like my god. All right, so let's how like they get this. Okay, so I gotta open up this packaging. We'll check out inside. I apologize for the terrible noises, probably crinkling in your ear right now. Get all this stuff out of here. 
All right, look at that. I got a certificate. This collector set is authentic. Um, limited edition, authorized by, and created under the strict supervision of Marvel Entertainment in year 2012. So, this is um, pretty much stupid and useless. So let's just move that out of the way. So we got a little folder. This is probably, oh, okay, okay, different folder. Oh, look at that, there's pictures in this thing. Dang, that's pretty cool. There's pictures of the Cosmic Cube. This is probably just like, oh, Tesseract. Pretty much the same, different stuff. There's like a little note in there. Extra little information. Um, I'm probably not gonna go over all this stuff, but I will, you know, if you wanna pause the video and check it out, you can. You can see what all the hubbub's about. Romanoff, you can check it out. Go ahead and pause the video whenever you want. Just gonna go over every single person. All right. On to whoever the heck this stuff's about. All right, and then I guess that's the first page again. Yes, it is. All right. And I got a Philip Coulson. <laughs> little uh, business card, which is pretty cool. All right, now this is the classified stuff. Um, extra stuff, information on here. Um, okay, this one's Steve Rogers. I can see him there. Um, Rogers paper, just the different stuff he wrote down. His his uh, whole uh, participant towards the military, I believe. This is the car that got him in, I'm guessing. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh, he, he got noticed as a fraud. So go ahead and read all that if you want to. Here's his physical exam. Oh, cool, yo, they gave, that's cool, they gave us little, uh, playing cards. There's Peggy, she's hot still. Um, ten. We got six. Oh, and that's awesome, because I got, I actually have that poster of Captain America doing that on my wall. So that's pretty cool, I love that picture. Oh, and then that's a pretty cool little thing, too. Yeah. You know what, these, these actually aren't the worst, uh, things I've ever seen put into a collector's edition type stuff. So I'm actually pretty um, pretty excited about that. All right, now we're going into Tony Stark territory. There we go. All right, I got a newspaper clipping. Who is the Iron Man? Go ahead and read the entire article if you really want to. Pause the video whenever you want. That's all that's on there. Oh, and there's stuff on the back too. It's to kind of show like, extra little information. Perhaps if you guys want to read any of this stuff, maybe this will kind of reveal more something for you. So, extra little tidbits to kind of make it seem like more real. Oh, and then there's like little informations or like the different type of specs gone into the first Iron Man. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Put that aside. All right, I got a blueprint for, oh, this is, oh, okay. I'm not gonna be able to fit this entire thing on the damn camera, but look at that. All Stark's information. You know, I'm not even gonna put that on the camera. I'm sure you can find that one online. That one's way too big to put on there. Tent up tomorrow. An Aldrich Killian thing. I think Killian doesn't show up until the third one. So, I think, yeah, Ultra Killian doesn't show up until the third one, so it's pretty cool that they actually put this in here before he was even a, uh, a thing. So, uh, Stark World Expo, 1964. Extra information, you wanna read about him, go for it. And then like a whole, a whole thingy. For immediate release, we no longer make weapons. Sincerely, Tony Stark. That's pretty cool. 
There's a little copy thingy. And then there's a little drawing you may do with those which you wish. Um, yeah, that one's pretty cool. I think the Steve Rogers one's a little cooler in my opinion. But that might just be because I love Captain America and I just kind of feel okay about Iron Man. I mean, I like Iron Man for sure, don't get me wrong, but I mean, you gotta love Cap. Real quick, I'm just gonna do this thing. This thing's dumb. There's just another piece of paper that's just there because it has to be. All right, so we got left Dr. Banner and this guy. Oh, is that the nickname he won as in the first one or like his, his fake name? I don't, I don't remember. Let's see. I don't know it's Thor. Oh, the picture he drew for her. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. Jane Foster. Physics inbound. Driver's license. Dr. Donald J. There's a picture of when he's fallen. Oh, cool. There's a little like fairy tale picture. Of, you guys can read that if you want to. Go ahead and pause the video. All right. There's Thor's info out of the way. And last but certainly not least is the big green giant himself, Mr. Dr. Banner. All right. So first off, we get a clipping. Go ahead and pause that whenever you want. Um, the back, I'll do the back too, just in case. Maybe there's something you guys want to read about, which is perfectly fine. There we go. All right, that's out of the way. A cryo sink. Extra information of whatever. Um, Nick Fury. Go ahead and read it. There's a lot of black lines. So you know it's important. All right, and we got this thing, research database. Go ahead and read as much as you wish. I haven't seen her in a while. Wow, I can't believe she's still like a thing. They, they, they make her still part of this universe. <laughs> they kind of forgot about her. And then a Pingo Dose. Huh. Or dosi. I don't know how you pronounce that. And another blueprint that's way too big to show, so I don't feel like um, doing that one. All right, like I said, you can probably find that one online somewhere. We're gonna move this out of the way and hop right in to the Blu-ray section, the most important part. Now that's all that comes within this um, this thing. All these thingies. Oh, this fell out. A little card fell out. That's all that comes inside of here. Damn it, Aldrich, damn it, Aldrich Killian, you sack. Put that in there. My certificate can go on meow. Um, the rest of the dumb stuff here, that can go on meow. I guess I can throw that, that little uh, paper away. Move all this stuff away. Make sure there's nothing in there. Oh, nothing else is in there. All right. Now we move on to the more, let's get this stuff away. Get this. Meaning, damn it, things are falling. Darn you, Captain America. And your beautiful pictures. Okay. Now, we'll get to the important stuff. The Blu-rays. All right, as you can see, they all have very beautiful pictures, and I'm gonna be going over one at a time and showing you guys front and back, and you guys can judge for yourself if you like them. All right, so right now we have the Iron Man here. As you can see, this is the very first Iron Man costume, the one he uses in the actual film. Um, there he is in the background doing that whole rocket explosion thing he did, which was pretty cool. All right, there's only one disc in here, and it's the Blu-ray one. It's just a plain Blu-ray. Um, you can read all the extra stuff here. Go ahead and pause the, the video, whatever. This is just disc one with the features. This is gonna be the main disc, of course, because there's only one disc in this. So that one's interesting. Move that one aside. Next in line is the Incredible Hulk, which was an okay film. And the abominations right there in the back. That's pretty cool art. I like, I like the art on these things for sure. They're very, very interesting looking. Now, of course, you only get one Blu-ray for this, and they inf they gave you wow, wow. They didn't they didn't even make a customized like 
disc for this. They just kind of repurposed the old discs. I mean, I guess that's the way it goes, but still, I kind of wish they would have, you know, made like a new art for the disc, just to kind of like everything go together more. I don't know, I just think I'd prefer that. So we got Iron Man 2, Iron Man Rhodey. This is still my favorite Iron Man costume out of all the Iron Man costumes right here. That's my favorite. On the back, we got all the robots being destroyed, all the drones. Then here's the Iron Man Disc 2. You're gonna read it. All right, we'll move on to Shield Avengers Initiative. Now, I'm pretty sure this is probably Phase One Archives. Okay, so this is like the extra extras bonus. I'm pretty sure. Um, this is like the disc that is put in here to, that has all the extra stuff that the other discs don't have. Like this is like the overall bonus features of the entire phase. So that's pretty cool. This is a regular shield. Nothing really spectacular about it, but interesting nonetheless. All right, so then we got Captain America, the first Avenger. Pretty cool art there. Red Skull being a sack. That's what it is. All right, now these ones are the beginning of like the two discs here. As you can see, this one actually comes with a Blu-ray 3D um, feature film in this disc here which I'm not gonna use, but this will be my main disc for sure. The regular Blu-ray. Captain America, of course, all the extra stuff. Go ahead and pause if you wanna read any of that stuff. All right, now we're gonna move over to the Thor, the mighty Thor. He's taking down the Destroyer. And then there's, there's um, Odin just chilling there on his throne. All right, once again, another 3D, 3D Blu-ray. And then a regular Blu-ray with all the extra information here. Go ahead and pause. You want to check it out. All right. And then we will move over to the final and last piece of the puzzle. Marvel's The Avengers. You can see all of our favorite Avengers all lined up. Ready for battle. And then here comes the Atari led by the evil Loki. So yeah, this was... um. Not too bad of a set for the price, and I would definitely recommend this for the for the pure like Marvel fans out there, such as myself. Um, I've been looking at this for a long time, and now the price has definitely decreased as what it was. And I, of course, I got it on a deal for about like 90 bucks, but it, I, I'm pretty sure the prices have decreased, and I'm hoping they'd stay decreased because they really shouldn't be expensive anymore. Considering, you know, Phase One is kind of like like way in the past now if you think about it considering phase two is over you know it is crazy to think that but definitely recommend this for any marvel fans uh, big marvel fans and who has the extra cash why not go ahead and buy this you get all the you get all the movies right here i'm actually going to put when i get phase two two i'm going to put them all in a line on my shelf and have just have all the blu-rays there so whenever my uh, friends and i want to have a little get together a little movie night we can kind of go over throughout the weeks and lead up to the to the next film, whatever. I think it's Civil War is the next one. So lead up to Civil War, and we can all have a good time watching. So if you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And if you enjoy my videos, go ahead and continue watching my other ones. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Peace.